<laughs> We're live across America, Jack. We're live across America, so behave yourself. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. It, it, it strikes me that you might just have scored Manchester City's most important goal of the season. I don't know. Uh, listen, that, that, that's what I've been trying to do the past. Um, well, since I've come back from the World Cup, really, I feel like I've been playing well, but I want to score goals, you know, and affect games, um, especially big games like this. Um, you know, I just says then that I obviously scored last last um, month at Old Trafford to make it 1-0. And I thought, oh, boys, then I've scored the winner here in the derby. And then, you know, we go and concede too. So in the end, it don't really mean anything, the goal. Do you, um, do you feel um, that on a big night like this, there's, there's an extra compulsion to do well? Because you're in a club now where, as you've experienced, you're not necessarily in the 11. When you get these big games, does it have to happen for you? Yeah, 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 you have to. Uh, you know, you have to perform. Um, and I feel, listen, I feel like I've been been performing well uh, recently, you know. Um, but in the back of your mind, you know, you always want to score and assist uh, <laughs> as much as, you know, these guys will know. the, the we want to stop you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, assisting and but scoring. you know, the attacking players that you've played with, you know, they, they always do want to score and yeah. assist and stuff like that. So, um, listen, the main thing for me is obviously to, 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 to perform for the team and, and it's a team game, but then in the back of your mind, you do want to score and, you know, to do it on a big night like this was a perfect night. Fantastic. Jack, you're obviously playing very well and we're enjoying watching you scoring goals, you're creating, as you said, but there was a time when you, not long after you signed, you went through a period of not being in the side. What was Pep saying to you at that point? Was he just kind of guiding you through playing at a club of this size? What was he saying to you? Yeah, he, he, he actually didn't say too much. Listen, I think we know uh, as players what we need to do to get in the team. Um, Did I you think, know that, though? Because yeah, it's different playing at Villa. Yeah, I, think, I think last year I, I weren't really training that well. Um, right. Not that I weren't not trying and stuff. Yeah. I just, you know, when you do confidence, mm -hmm. it's just low. And, and like, yeah, I weren't training too well. Um, I felt like when I was playing, I weren't playing that well. And then when you don't play, you lose fitness. Yeah. Um, and then I felt like that to be fair, in the second half of last season. But since the World Cup, you know, I've really knuckled down and um, and I feel like I'm pro probably playing my best football since mm. um, since I've signed. Yeah. Well, it's funny that you say that because that's your fifth start in a row tonight. So the rhythm of your game seems to be there. You've scored three, three assists so far this season, which you've got three, I think you scored three last yeah. season. So in terms of your own sort of mental state and where you're at, are you looking at this season as as you're getting towards your peak and that you're going you're gonna to be... An important player in the running on a you know every week. Yeah, that's obviously what I'm trying to do. Listen, I know my own ability, and I, I've got a lot more to go. I've got a lot more to give. Um, I know I have, uh, and that's down to me, you know, to to, to do that. Um, but nights like these, you know, are only going to help and, and boost that confidence and stuff. So um, that's what I need to need to be doing. You know, the manager was buzzing with us inside. Um, <laughs> well, buzzing with me as well. Uh, the way he come over and give us a hug. So. Um, yeah, no, it's a, it's a brilliant night in that changing room and there was a good place to be in. I've just got to ask you, you went to America, didn't you, and played a bit after the World Cup? Trip to New York, is I that right? I went to New York, yeah. Yeah, how was it? Did you say I played a bit? Well, did you play? Did nah. you just visit? <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just ate loads of food and just <laughs> was doing a bit you? of sightseeing. Yeah. Did you? What, yeah. did you? what did you make of it? Oh, I loved it. New did York, you? what a place, yeah. Fantastic. I, I didn't do any partying or anything. I just yeah. went there, yeah, with my missus, chilled. Went on like Home Alone tours and that. <laughs> fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. You're a wonderful tourist and a wonderful conversationalist. Cheers. Thank you so no, much, Jack. You awesome, Cheers, really good to talk to you. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.